What is up guys, Winter Kills here and welcome back to a brand new test hand video. We haven't done one of these, uh, I don't think in a while and we certainly haven't done with uh, Mac Knight Invoked. Uh, I uploaded a dual video with this the other day. Um, I have since made some changes and even more changes since the deck profile has originally uh, come out. I think some of the changes I made were adding back in mind control, um, playing two meltdown and two terraforming. Um, let me just look through here and see what some of the other changes were. I think we're adding a third, third Ghost Ogre. Well, I, I was playing three Ash. Um, these are just basically proxy Ashes for now. Um, so three Ogre, two Memory I'm only playing. Um, three Called By still, still two Institution. So I made some changes, but not like, you know, drastic changes. The extra deck really hasn't changed at all. Um, but yeah, without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and do some test hands here. Um, I've been sort of like, really happy with this deck and like how it plays and how consistent it is and uh there there are some combos i'm starting to to realize uh, as a new player to this deck um quite a few combos where you can use like uh, morning star to discard something after you go into him with like alistair and another mech knight uh, in order to just put like massive amounts of damage on board turn one with like a morning star and like a mechaba and then maybe another Mech Knight here. It's like, it's a lot of damage usually first turn. Uh, well, going second, I should say, on your first turn. So let's draw into our first hand here. And I've got these uh, new sleeves from Imperium Duelist. Not sponsored by them, but um, I just want to say, like, these sleeves are, like, super cool. They got, like, the prismatic effect on them. And I know some people usually ask where I get the sleeves on. Like, almost all the time, people usually ask where the sleeves are from. So I'll save you the trouble of typing the comment now. Um, but, yeah, this is our opening hand. Looks like Alistair, Blue Sky, Called by Instant Fusion, Monster Reborn, and Effect Valor. Um, so I'll start this turn with the Alistair. I think that's pretty much obvious. Um, not, you know, too uh, complicated. We'll grab our Invocation. And uh, with Instant Fusion, it, it's really nice to have Instant Fusion in here because what it does is it sets up like that extra column that you need uh, to be able to go into uh, Morningstar, and then into another fusion. Um, so I'm gonna play the instant fusion now, we'll get things started with that, and I'm gonna go into Rajin. Um, and I was looking at one of my builds online because I have this build that built on YGO Pro, but I had it changed recently to take into account like the new Alistair uh, Link Monster, which is I think fantastic. Um, and I don't know if I'll still be playing instant fusion in that build, I'm not entirely sure, but it still helps out in a lot of situations like this you're seeing right here. Um, so, for the sake of us going second, um, and we'll say that our opponent has at least one card on their field for, you know, us playing Mech Knights, it's kind of dependent our opponent has at least something, uh, on their field. Um, obviously that's how you summon them, and especially for a card like this. I don't want to make it too unrealistic and say, like, oh, they have, like, a perfect column, right? I just want to say, they at least, you know, they open up terrible, set one card pass. It gives us something to work with. Um, so I'm going to summon this guy here, we'll say he's in line with that card, or whatever, and worst case scenario we could summon him here and put that, that face down, it's not too big of a deal. But uh, the one search won't hurt too bad. I'll just grab Purple Nightfall because um, he's going to basically grab us other Mech Knights. Um, and now that we're, we have this here, um, what's really interesting is that the Ragin we can bring back with World Legacy like, Succession, which is like super super awesome uh, so I think I'm gonna get rid of these two uh, to go into Morningstar and put him here um, and then we can we can use his effect here on summon because uh, we'll just ditch him and I'm gonna grab World Legacy Succession I'm only playing yeah another thing I changed is I'm playing this at one now is because you can search it off Morningstar um, and you really only want to have it when you have a link monster obviously that's the only time you can use it so I want to make sure like if I'm going to play this at 1, I can search it, it's going to be useful. And we also have Monster Reborn here to, to help us out, which is really nice. So, what I'm going to do now is play Invocation, we'll banish the Alistair, and we'll banish the Blue Sky to go for Mechaba, put it in here. And then we'll use the uh, Invocation, add back, Invo, or no, Invo goes back into the deck, my bad. Uh, and then Alistair goes to hand. So you're already seeing sort of like what the, the combo is that you sort of need here. Um, you just need like the ability to search any Mech Knight or open any Mech Knight and Alistair and like a card to allow you to summon uh, 
Morningstar a lot easier, and like Instant Fusion's like that card, um, what was it called, uh, the uh, Mind Control could also be another card, because it just allows you to link into uh, Morningstar a lot easier. Uh, so now we have this, and we can revive this guy here, and we'll just use him now to search. Um, and I'm gonna grab the uh, the mover, the zone mover, because I don't know why, just like to. It's like to have him in hand. And uh, now we can summon him, let's say, in that same zone where that other monster is. Summon him there. If not, we could set the monster born as well, just so we have that actual zone. And then here we can just monster reborn out this, um, which is, I would say, go for it, honestly, if we're going second, because like we have 2200, we have 4600. We have 60, 70, 100. Yeah, it's like that's over a game immediately right there. This doesn't even need to go there. We can leave that zone open. We have a Valor in hand. We have Invoker in hand. Uh, and we have a Called By. So, like, it's not too bad. Like, this is a pretty common first turn field to end with. And um, I probably should have uh, summoned this guy, or I probably should move him out of the way. And the reason why I would say probably move him here is because uh, you get the added benefit of uh, Morningstar. It says Mech Knights can't be destroyed by battle if they're not being attacked in the same column. Uh, so that's one thing you want to keep in mind. But having the Call by the Grave, we have the Effect Veil, we have a Mech up in the gate, at least a Monster Negation with the Alistair in hand. Because um, we don't really need to use it to boost for damage at this point unless we need it to get over something. So that's a pretty decent uh, first turn, um, I'd say. And after, I think after we might do a couple test hands, I might like demonstrate like a combo or two sort of, but like, combos with this deck are really sort of dependent from hand to hand. Um, it's basically just combos that get you, um, you know, Morningstar with Mechaba or Perk Trio, and then access to something like Succession to revive something uh, for more damage. That's really all it is. All right, so I pile shuffled real quick, and we'll go ahead and draw into another hand here. Uh, I was kind of thinking in between the first SN and last SN, uh, we'll do we'll do some going first hands as well just to kind of show the uh, versatility I suppose um, But like it's mech knight. You're always gonna try to want to go second um, Going first boards are always gonna be a little uh, lackluster um, This hand right here is an example of that uh, And we open a third mech knight, so that's really cool um, Yeah, there's really not much we can do this turn uh, other than just like Pass. I mean, as underwhelming as that sounds, it, 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 I guess, well, if we went off the factor, they, they have one card on their field if we're going second here, I guess that's one thing I should mention. Um, we would set a card like Invocation, uh, because I'd rather not lose Monster Reborn. Um, and then we can go Nightfall into Blue Sky. We'll see what we can do here. Nightfall into Blue Sky, add him. We get one search at least. I'm going to add the... Uh, the yellow star, if I can find him, because we have red moon, might as well grab yellow star. Now, we haven't normal summoned yet, and I might even go so far as to, just, just to keep it as realistic as possible, like in the worst case scenario, our opponent has one card, uh, you know, on the field, that's it, or no, I'm not going to grab this guy, I might, no, we have, we have Indigo Eclipse in hand. I just love to, to draw into Mech Knights, and I only think I'm playing two, four, six. I'm only playing eight Mech Knights, and I, I draw into them all the time. It's kind of it's kind of weird. Um, it's just unlucky, I guess. Uh, so I'm gonna like actually normal summon the Ghost Ogre here, just because we can go into Morningstar that way. And again, playing it uh, as uh, bare minimum as possible because I don't want to make it too unrealistic of what our opponent might have. So. Uh, now we have this, which is going to be super helpful, and on summon I actually am going to use its effect. I'm going to discard the green, or the yellow star that we sum or searched, and I'm going to add succession. Um, actually no, I'm probably not going to add succession here because we don't have a way to use invocation, um, and I think what I'm going to do instead is grab the trap card, because that's a little defense right there for us. Because we'll have indigo eclipse in hand. And we have secrets, or uh, yeah, Indigo Eclipse secrets. We have Reborn as well to work with uh, in the set invocation. Um, so I'll set this here, and then we'll summon this guy here. And we also, we could move him if we wanted to, to summon this guy again. Uh, and then we could put some damage on. Maybe use um, 
or I should say, let's say if whatever column we we use this originally is still open, we could have summoned this guy here, and then summon this here, and then use this to move him, or what have you. It really doesn't matter. Um, we can at least get these two guys on board by doing this, moving this guy, summoning this here. Uh, and then if able, we can use his effect to destroy something. We also have Monster Reborn in hand, which can revive this, which that in of itself is game if they don't have uh, anything else, really. Um, but I probably wouldn't use the Monster Reborn just yet. But we also have this set, which is really nice. This is going to reborn something. And then we can combo it with this. So any zone that a Mech Knight is in, uh, that effect that your opponent is trying to activate in that same zone or column is negated. Um, and it's just a re Monster Reborn for level 5 or higher, which is really nice, which is pretty much most things in this deck. Uh, and in the extra deck, so that's it for that one. I think that was, uh, I think that wasn't too bad. If we had to go, um, if we had to go first, it would have been pretty rough. Although, like going first with this deck in general is just rough. Um, I don't really know what else you could do to counter that, other than I don't know, just <laughs> just being lucky, I guess, and opening Alistair. We didn't open Alistair. Uh, we didn't see one of our four copies of uh, Meltdown or what have you. Um, but then again, maybe that's one reason I'd want to play more. But the thing is with Meltdown is that, and I'll, I'll sort of talk while I shuffle here. The thing about Meltdown is like, I've had games where I, I've played three Meltdown. I've played three Terraforming together. It's just the, the good or the bad sort of outweighs the good. And I mean that by like, obviously Meltdown is a hard once per turn and like, Having any more copies other than just like the three, um, or I should say having any more than I would say two copies, um, is just like, it's so bricky. I'd rather have like other cards in my hand to use that turn like mind control to help advance my plays. But like, it's a love hate with Meltdown because like it's, it, if you play like too many copies, like I said, they're, they're hard ones per turn. They kind of sit in your hand. They don't really do that much, but at least I suppose they get you Alistair, which we could have uh, used right there, so but we open Terraform anyways this turn. Uh, Blue Sky called by uh, Memory and an Effect Valor. Um, so yeah, we're just going to do this hand as going second as well. We could actually play this out as going first because like this is a decent enough hand for going first. Um, yeah, I guess we could we could do that because we have Terraforming, which is Alistair, which is Invocation. Like, this is literally just a one card Mechaba. It's so nice. Like, like, that's why I love the Invoked Engine. It's so nice. It's so convenient. Uh, so we'll Terraform in here for Meltdown. We'll play Meltdown up here. Hope you guys can see that. And it's in frame. Probably check real quick. Yep. Might be a bit of a glare over there, but you can still tell what it is, hopefully. Uh, so we got our Alistair. We'll summon here in the center zone. Uh, I'll probably just use a upside down card or something for this here, just so we can keep it more organized. I should have done that earlier, but... It is what it is. So now we'll search our, uh, what is it, Invocation. Put that right there. Now we have World Legacy's Memory, which says that when we activate it, we can't special summon anything other than Mech Knights for the rest of the turn after its activation. So we can summon pretty much anything we want prior to us activating that, So which is uh, very helpful. So we have Instant Fusion here. Definitely going to play Instant Fusion for Ragin. Ra like, this Instant Fusion play is so powerful because... It's gonna give us instant access to, uh, what's it, Morning Star, because we can search, um, and our, our opponent actually will have no cards on their field. So this blue sky isn't really gonna do us anything other than getting us a Mech Knight body, which is fine. Um, we're gonna play this out like we're going first, because we gotta be able to, we gotta be able to play first, because uh, that is an option. That is a 50/50 chance that we have, especially with the dice roll. Um, but like this generates you like such good advantage first. I might even play a third instant fusion, like a second rage, and honestly, I, if I'm going too overboard, I don't know. But like getting this extra zone up here to summon, like is just really key. That's why I like memory too, because it allows you to get a mech knight on board, like purple, to search you something um, that same turn, which is in most cases can be like all you need to get your play started. So we're gonna we'll set this here to say they have nothing on their field, then we'll summon this. And then we're going to get rid of the Ragin and the Blue Sky uh, for the Morning Star. Now, here we're going to have to discard the Memory, which is fine. Um, because I'd actually almost rather uh, get... What is it? Um, the Trap. I'd rather get the Trap here, to be honest. 
about to get the trap card. Because we still have uh, Blue Sky Engrave, so he is a target for that. Um, we could have gone and searched another memory, but there's no point in really doing that because we just shouldn't have discarded this in the first place. Uh, and I guess the only advantage of getting another memory would be getting another purple for next turn. Which I suppose would be a little smarter. Um, so yeah, you know what, that's actually what I'm gonna do. We're not even gonna, we're not even gonna bother with the, the Morningstar, uh, summon. So, like, there, we probably could have gone into Alistair, actually, if this was, uh, the new, if we had the new support. I think we would have gone into Alistair there, and that's gonna allow us to search some, I think that allow us to search, like, Book of Law when we fusion summon, uh, which is really nice. So, we'll just keep this here, and then I'm gonna invocation, get rid of this, and then banish the, uh, the blue sky. Because we weren't even going to have that engrave uh, for invocation, actually. So it's a good thing we didn't even do that play. Um, so let's put this here, put it there, and then we'll add this back, put that back. Um, and then we still have this in hand. We still have these cards in hand. Uh, so we'll have a monster negation at minimum. We have a graveyard disruption, and we have just a disruption in general with the, uh, with the called by, or not the called by, the, um, the legacy, or the memory. Can't speak. Uh, so that's pretty much what we'd be ending on first turn. We're, we get Morningstar, we get Mechaba, we have uh, Memory Set, we have Call By, and we have Alistair in hand, uh, which is nice. Like the Invoked Engine is always going to pretty much leave you with a, one card left in hand, and it's usually going to be Alistair because you just get to recycle it back. Uh, and the next turn, we're drawing Pinpoint Landing, uh, which is actually really good considering we're, we're going to get the me Memory off, which is going to get us. Well, we wouldn't draw into this, I should say. Um, but if we did, it would be good because we, we'd have a Mech Knight to grab. Um, and that would get us a free draw. So that is, uh, hopefully I'll actually get to the card. Hopefully actually uh, we'll get to use Pinpoint Landing in this, this video. Because uh, it's sort of my substitute for Desires. I do have Desires and I could play Desires. I just don't really want to at the moment. Um, and the real reason is I don't think one is like super better than the other. Uh, they both have their their ups and downs, but uh, it's just because I don't want to switch them out of other decks, to be honest. Okay, so my camera says we've been going for about 20 minutes, so we'll do add like one or two more, and then maybe like a combo uh, afterwards. So let's draw into our next hand. Here we did going first last time. Uh, we'll just do a going second this time, because well, it looks like we're opening mind control. Um, which, uh, for the sake of the video and to keep things realistic, we just won't use mind control because we're, we said they're only having minimum, bare minimum one card on their field for us to work with as far as Mech Knight summons are concerned. Um, so we're just gonna use this as a card to set. We don't know if their one card is gonna be a set spell trap or a set monster or one face up monster or if it's a link monster or something. Um, obviously all these things sort of play into account here. Uh, so now we're gonna terraforming uh, into Meltdown gonna search Meltdown and then play it and that's gonna grab us Alistair and then we're gonna summon Alistair and that's gonna grab us Invocation. So now we have an extra copy of Alistair in hand which is kind of nice uh, for monster negations for Makaba. We did open up one uh, one Mech Knight uh, which is uh, interesting. So for this we're gonna have to try to find a way just to put a lot of damage on board. Um, again, opening up Yellow Star. See, like I might cut Red Moon for the third Purple um, because Purple gets play started a lot. Um, but this isn't Red Moon, so even if we did make that change, we still would not have opened it. Um, but we will go ahead and set this here, or whatever zone we need it to be set in, and then we'll summon this with their one card that they have in line. Um, and then I would say from here, we can just go into Underclock Taker or some other uh, some other Link Monster. We can go into like Phoenix, uh, or that's Cerberus, Cerberus or Phoenix, to clear something. Because um, we do play the full Nightmare Package in here. Uh, so let's just go into like Phoenix or whatever. Um, or no, we're, we're gonna need a down arrow. So we'll just, uh, we'll just grab the, I need to actually grab it out of a different deck box, the Underclock Taker. If I can find it real quick. We'll just go into Underclock with those two. Uh, and then we'll use the Invocation. 
See, well, we technically didn't need to get rid of this, but uh, for the sake of getting into a Link Monster to do extra damage uh, might be a little bit better uh, and not as underwhelming as just, you know, making, um, what is it? Uh, I'm going to leave that Yellow Star in Grave, actually, and I'm just going to get rid of the, uh, the Effect Veiler because this would still be, this is technically Ash Blossom, if I'm going to keep things straight. Uh, and then we'll go into uh, Mechaba right there. So we can man manipulate some attack here. Um, and then we just add this back to hand, put this back in deck. And we have an Ash or an Ogre, depending on what you play, either either or works. Um, you don't really have to play Ash in this deck, which is obviously easier access to Burk Trio. Um, you could play like a Kaiju Engine, and that gives you access if you don't have Ash, but it's getting reprinted soon, so thank God. Uh, so we have this at bare minimum, really. Uh, we could mind control something if they had it. Uh, after, like, maybe sucking up the attack points from it, I should say. Um, and then mind controlling the entire side of the field and uh, going from there and trying to do as lo a lot of damage as possible and then boost this thing up and boost it up again if we wanted to go so far and do that um, just to try to OTK if we knew we could. So there's that, I guess. But now what I'm going to do is show off the, the combo that I've sort of come up with. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is show off just a three-card combo. A three-card if going second and uh, I would say three to four if going first, just depending on uh, a lot of things, really. Uh, and the only reason I say that because it does involve getting a surge off of, I would say, um, what is it, the uh, Blue Sky. It does involve getting a surge off Blue Sky, so keep that in mind. Basically, just these three cards um, are what you're going to need to work with here. So Alistair is going to go grab Invocation, as you might have guessed. That's what, that's, that's what Alistair does does it really good and then I'm dropping card and then we're gonna instant fusion for raging so going first like I said this is where uh, you would need that extra card in hand because we're gonna need a discard target for uh, morning star and then we'll summon this here uh, again this is where if you were going first this is sort of where that play into that you have that zone do this search this but we're gonna do it as going second here because we're gonna need to get a search um, and I'm gonna search Indigo Eclipse, so let's see, at least the one search that we get. Again, the, the kind of rule of thumb we've been taking uh, into account here this entire video is that they at least have one card on their field for us to work with, um, whether that be over here or over there. Um, we could just set this according to, in that column, I just set this here as an example. Say if we were going first, this is what we would do. Um, so now what we're going to do is get rid of these two uh, to go into Morningstar. And uh, Morningstar is going to, of course, activate, discarding this, the Indigo Eclipse, or whatever Mech Knight you wanted to search. You want to search Red Moon, or whatever have you you wanted to search. Um, and now we're going to grab uh, World Legacy Succes Succession. And the, the reason like, I wanted to do this combo with um, Instant Fusion is, again, it makes it a little more viable going first. Um, but it, it sort of allows for extra utility here, and you'll see why. So now we're going to Invo. Uh, and get rid of, I'll say, Blue Sky and um, Alistair for Mechaba. And then we're going to add back Alistair, put Invocation back in the deck. And then we're going to use World Legacy Succession to bring back uh, Ragin. So that is really nice because with a... And this is, it's also useful for going first as well because not only do you end with... Uh, a negation once we revive this, but you also end uh, with a book of eclipse, not book of eclipse, but a book of moon on field, and a guaranteed at least one monster negation, and that was using just three cards in our hand. Uh, if going second, um, it would have been using three to four if going first, because um, keep in mind we'd still have two, uh, two or three other random cards to work with in a real opening hand. But this is sort of just the extent of where you can go uh, going second. Um, or going first, really. Um, so you have a Book of Moon, a Negation, uh, protection from battle, really, with this guy, uh, and one card in hand, and it's a follow-up, and next time we're drawing memories, it looks like. So um, if we would have opened that in our opening hand, that would have been really nice. Um, Could have done some, uh, even a little bit more. And also, not to forget, we're getting this back uh, during our next standby phase. So that's important to remember as well. Um, yeah, but uh, I think that's pretty much all I wanted to, to, to showcase um, is uh, just basically 
real quick combo and how to get some damage on board really fast. Again, uh, this deck really is just sort of all based around what your opponent does. Uh, if your opponent leaves you a uh, zone, uh, if not, um, you know, it's a little rough, but that's again why I really like a card like uh, Instant Fusion, just because it, it allows you to play when your opponent tries not to let you play, if that makes any sense. Because you just get to summon Ragin, or if you've already used Ragin, you could use Thousand Eyes Restrict uh, and summon him out. Uh, if you're really that desperate, you can summon him out, summon something underneath him, and then use his effect to steal something. So, like, it just all around, it, it's just such a good card in here, I think. Um, and I think it's going to continue to be a good card even after the Invoker, Alistair the Meltdown Invoker comes out, or whatever his new name is. Uh, just because you just, that, that versatility still, to be able to get that monster in your extra monster zone is, is so key sometimes. It gets your plays going. Um, and I guess that's why World Legacy Memory could also be very helpful uh, at 3, even though I'm playing it at 2. It's just the reason this card doesn't get, it's like a pseudo play starter, I should say. Um, it gets you a Mech Knight when you need a mech knight but like only when you can like summon it because like going for purple nightfall and summoning out on defense is nice and everything but like if you the monster you search off it you can't summon it it's just this is just as useless as the card you're adding um if that makes any sense so i'm still new to the deck uh hopefully i was able to help some people out and i hope you guys enjoyed this type, type of test hand video uh i know we sort of had to play it by like you know what our opponent might have which might be a little weird, but like I feel like that's just how you have to do a test hand like this, a test hand video like this, and um, yeah. So I know you guys want to see more duels. I'm I'm working on that. So I really appreciate the patience. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. And as always, guys, Winter Kill sign out. We'll see you in the next one.